So the highest we got about today, temperature wise, was about 22 degrees. It started out about 13 below zero and gradually made its way up to where the sun came out. So we didn't get up to a very high temperature today. It got up to be about 22 degrees. And because the wind chill was a little bit subsided, thank God, um, it took that edge off to where the sun was able to kind of start melting a little bit of the roads. So a lot of it was snow packed before, but then you could see some of the black road. And I was hoping to get some food before, you know, we get locked in with another snowstorm because I heard another snowstorm's coming. But I had um, this article that is really interesting and the timing of it's pretty exciting, I think, too. I mean, telling that we're close to the time of Jesus' return. And they actually found this 1,500-year-old Christ born of Mary inscription found in Israel. And it says, Archaeologists excavating in the village of Et Taiba, located in the Valley of Megiddo, also known as the Jezreel Valley, have uncovered an inscription bearing the name Christ, born of Mary. Isn't that cool? Was found in Israel. According to Christian eschatology, the valley is considered the location for the ultimate battle between the forces of good and evil, commonly referred to as Armageddon. The term Armageddon is derived from the Hebrew Har Megiddo, meaning Mount Megiddo. The stone inscription is engraved in Greek and was found in a doorway entrance to a building that dates to the late 5th century AD, which was later incorporated into a later structure from the Byzantine or early Islamic period. Excavations of the structure have also identified two rooms containing mosaic flooring decorated with geometric designs. So these pictures are pretty amazing of that. And Dr. Leah de Segni, a researcher at the Institute of Archaeology of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, said that the inscription is a dedicatory to Jesus, the son of Mary, which states Christ born of Mary. And this work of the most God-fearing and pious bishop, Theodosius, and the miserable Thomas, was built from the foundation. Whoever enters should pray for them. Theodosius, whom the text refers to as the building's founder, was one of the first Christian bishops in the region and had religious authority of the city of Bet Shien, which served as the capital of the Byzantine province of Palestina Secunda. According to the researchers, the inscription is intended to provide protection from the evil eye and has been found at other sites from across the Byzantine world. Dr. Walid Atrash of the Israel Antiquities Authority, the IAA, said this is the first evidence of the Byzantine church's existence in the village of Et Taiba, and it adds to other finds attesting to the activities of Christians who lived in the region. So isn't that interesting that as we approach the time of the end, that there would be a discovery stating Christ born of Mary, and that it would be found in the place where the Lord is coming back to fight the battle to the end against the enemies of God. I don't know. To me, I saw something that looked like a lion's head. I don't know if they see that or if that's just an optical illusion.